Hello Ed Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are visiting the city of Luanda. At the end of this video, you will understand Luanda like never before seen. We should present to you the characteristics of this amazing African city and also to explain to you the history behind this amazing capital. So without any much delay, we should just go straight into it. For those of you who plan to visit in the next couple of months or spending time in Angola without stopping in Luanda, of course, you would definitely want to get into the main amazing city of this interesting African country. Looking at Luanda, for those of you who don't know, Luanda is also spelled as Luanda for those of you who look into those basics. It was formerly Sao Paulo de Luanda city. It is the city and capital of the country of Angola. It is located on the Atlantic coast of North Angola. It is the country's largest city and also is one of its busiest seaport. Luanda was founded in, in 1576 by Paulo de, de Novas and was initially settled by the Portuguese. Luanda became the administrative center of the Portuguese colony of Angola that was in 1627 and was a major outlet for slave traffic to Brazil at the time. The city is regarded as capital of the Ubuntu people who have their roots in the surrounding areas in Luanda. Moving ahead, Luanda has a warm equatorial climate. The surrounding regions from a tropical coastline plains that give way to a uh, to blended desect and also drained by the Kwanzaa River and other coastal streams. The Kabambe Dam, which is just about a hundred miles away uh, to the southern part of the Kwanzaa, it supplies water to Luanda. The skyscrapers and wide avenues give Luanda a modern appearance of any African city. The higher part of the city, which is consisting of the outlying district, is generally prevented reading, and also the lower is commercial and industrial activities. The city is the seat of a Roman Catholic archdiocese and is home to Agostino Neto University, which was since 1963. And also, Luanda has the Catholic University of Angola that was in 1997, the National Library of Angola and the National Historic Archives are also located in this amazing African city and also does have several different museums. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Most of Luanda's sizable Portuguese population uh, left the city before Angola was granted independence from Portugal in 1975. The city's population swelled dramatically during the Angolan Civil War that was from 1975 to about 2000 uh, year, especially after 1992 as refugees fled uh, from war also in rural areas. Luanda has historically had difficulties with maintaining a clean and accessible water supply, which in some aspect is an issue with some major African cities, and also decades of war and insecurity exacerbated the situation. The influx of new residents completely overwhelmed the city of the city of public services and also such sewage treatments and also other collection issues like any other international city would experience this. Even in the years following the civil war, Luanda was still vulnerable to other issues and outbreaks and also basic stuff that affected uh, social issues. However, the country's capital has transformed completely and is a mega city in the African continent. Luanda is an industrial center Manufacturing issues include beverages, automotive products, and also cement. Petroleum was one discovered nearby in 1955, and there also is a refinery and the north part end of Luanda Bay. Agricultural products produced in the area include coffee, cotton, sugarcane, and oil seeds, and also palm oil and kennels. Cattle rearing is also something very important and locally important. Internationally, you want to dig into that. Additional parts will include the city's port life. Luanda is served by International Airport and the Luanda Railway, which has its eastern terminus in the Malanje, for those of you who have been to this amazing African city. Moving ahead, 
Rwanda is an interesting part in the African continent. The city is amazing. For those of you who have been there for the first time, you will agree that the skyline is full of infrastructural development and modernization. Luanda attracts lots of tourists from all over the world that come in for businesses, also for transactions and to have a wonderful holiday in this amazing African city. The city has transformed. Looking at this one of the metropolis in the African continent, some will point out that it's those very expensive as compared to other regional cities in the region. However, the city does has its own positive aspect. It is a business hub. Luanda does has its different uh, architectural issues. For those of you who plan to visit, go down to the Luanders. You'll be able to enjoy the historic uh, Portuguese cuisines and also the contemporary African food uh, that comes from this area. Of course, Angola has a huge connection with the Portugal and it's based on their historical uh, links that for many years. But for those of you who have been to this amazing African city, you will agree that its transformative nature and looking at its capacity to accommodate people from different regions from around the world, it tells you the amount of infrastructural development that has been put into this interesting African investment destination. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Looking at this particular city of Luanda, as we've pointed out, looking at its location and the coast of northern Angola, it's this huge tourist attraction, having some of the best hotels that you could ever imagine. Of course, some will point out they are extremely expensive compared to the per capita income and those who are usually uh, living in the cities. The country is one of the OPEC producing countries, to say, member of OPEC. Uh, countries producing oil and also uh, Luanda has been known to um, kind of um, uh, develop its areas in the rural development sections which are very vital to uh, those communities that are stranded or that needs more development. Again, others pointed out that most of the development in this particular African country more focuses only on Luanda. But again, there are different cities that are also extending. The skyline is covered with all types of cranes and a continuous infrastructural development. Looking at the city's interaction with other major cities around the world, you can see that most of the Chinese investments are also being seen in this African nation. They are also able to provide different resources, in terms of especially oil and gas, that are being used to also fuel the economy in different areas. Angola contributes or we say that most of the country's uh, export comes from uh, oil and also um, energy in different areas but most of that investment goes into the Luanda city itself and you will see that it is a contemporary African city that gives it vibrant nature and also it's competing with other major cities across the African continent. Luanda has transformed when you consider from when the city was the country entirely uh, was gripped by the civil war that took many years you will realize that these infrastructures are very necessary to upgrade this african nation uh, bringing that uh, to be able to compete with regional cities that are really transforming and also we are looking to see what happens angola in particular and luanda specifically was right up there prior to covid 19 in terms of its growth and transformation but we will see what happens in the coming uh, post-COVID-19 and how such investments from China and other regional development banks and other infrastructural issues with the, with the issues that are affecting oil prices. We will look at how the Angolan city of Luanda uh, will transform or if they're able to keep that energy and that momentum moving forward. Again, thanks very much for watching our channel. Hopefully, you were able to watch our other videos with regards to the African continent as we look at visiting another city. Let us know if you've ever been to Luanda and what inspired you during your travel and um, that particular African city. Also, let us know what you intend to do the next time you visit and what was so interesting for you with regards to the infrastructural nature of this African nation. For now, thanks very much for watching the Explorer. We encourage you to subscribe and share our videos 
to your different network. Thanks very much for watching. We're looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.